NFL franchise we purchased in 1988 is leaving Seattle. That can't happen, that can't happen. That's our football team, that's our identity. I'm starting Save Our Seahawks. I'm not gonna be your worst enemy. I'm not gonna fight you all the way. But this is our team. This was awarded to the city of Seattle. And we're not gonna let you take it. He was a pest. He would call the show all the time. The more people tell me I can't do something, I'm gonna go out and prove you wrong. He was like a bee in a picnic, man. He would not give up. We had to come up with, not only the stadium design, we had to come up with a funding package, and we had 14 months to do it. The arguments for the stadium don't make sense. I think they do make sense. The Seahawks are good for our community and they bring in a lot more money than our opera. Gives no, you national they exposure. They don't. Just give us a chance to vote on this. You know, I had a debt of over $100,000 that I'd run up doing this campaign. I was scared to death. This election will come down to a photo finish. We were down bad. 63% of the people rejecting. It was so close. It is winning 51 to 49%. <laughs> Unreal. We did it. At the young age of 34, she was diagnosed with lung cancer. Mark was still like, no, nope, we're gonna we're gonna find a way to beat this. If being a pest could cure cancer, Mark Collins would be the most famous man in the world because he would have cured cancer. Doggone it, some things aren't fair in life. We wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for Mark Collins. I wouldn't even be talking to you because there would be no reason to. There wouldn't be a team. The guy who said first and foremost this ain't happening was Mark Collins.